66 for Lynn Jigger, Ron Jess next. Yeah, 68. 60, a big hand for these two fellows who just weighed in, thanks. Thank you. Never. He has a, a tremendous build. That might have been Lim Jacker's new trick. <laughs> I think they're trying to arrange it so that the lights are just over the ring itself, but um, uh, this is a problem now because they, I think the switching mechanisms uh, cover 30% of one side and 50% or 60% of the other. Well, there's four lights there. big uh, fight here, Lim uh, Moose Jika against uh, the White Lightning, Ron Jets. Ron Jets uh, with a um, record of 22 wins and 18 losses and of course uh, uh, Jika is undefeated with uh, 9 wins and ranked 4 in Australia middleweight. He's really coming along Scotty Lim Jika, isn't he? He's coming along he's, he's set himself a, uh, a big task this year. He says, I want to be Australian champion by Christmas and that's yeah. that. Oh, well, he's on the uh, way to success to Lim uh, Jika because we saw him fight last year pulverised a couple of his opponents last year and uh, He's got uh, a lot of upper body strength, this fellow, and uh, he's, a, he's a wily customer. He's slippery and he's quick. Uh, Hank, isn't he? Yeah, boy, yeah, very awkward and uh, fit, very mm -hmm. fit. Mm -hmm. well, he's really set himself a big task. He's got a goal to aim towards, and uh, that makes every fight now a stepping stone for him as he walks into a nice uh, jab from Ron Jeffs. Yes, yeah, well, Ron Jeffs is no he's slouch. He's been around for some time, and uh, he just threw a beautiful right oh, hand, too. Uh, seemed to be finding his mark early in the fight. 68. So no walk-up start, uh, Ron Jeffs uh, from uh, Queensland, trained by uh, Les Enos. My punch by Jika caught the top of the uh, pants of uh, Jeffs. And they uh, tried to slap him with the right hand that missed. Jeffs is um, standing very, very straight up and down. He's uh, not moving his head much, but he's uh, he's picking his punch as well. He's, uh, he's leading with either the left or the right hand, just mixing it up a bit. And obviously leading with the right hand is a very, very good move against a uh, southpaw. A nice footwork by Jeffs too, and uh, that's anchoring in there. He's swinging away. He's hit Jeffs a couple of times here with a swinging right hand. And the left came in around the side of the body. And uh, Jeffs is uh, keeping his, trying to keep his... His left foot outside of Jekka's front foot, which is uh, uh, you know, the, the best way to be able to open up Southport. Yes, that's a very interesting point, that, because he's confusing Jekka a bit there. Jekka's finding it hard to get around that front leg to uh, be able to find his range. It, uh, well, as soon as, like, when he gets his foot outside, that's when he, he starts to throw his punches. If his foot's not outside, he's not in a position to throw punches. Oh, that's a, a very good point. 
Ron Jeffs has obviously done his video homework on Njika. He would have no doubt looked at Jika's wins last year. Jika's coming in now hard. Got a good, good, good body punch in there, but not much of that did a hell of a lot of damage to Jeffs, who has retained composure and got back to the centre of the ring nicely. Very composed fighter, Ron Jeffs, and he's done his homework. No doubt about that. He's nice very composed. Hand. He looks very comfortable. He's um, yeah, he, he's not getting overawed at all by anything. He's just taking it all in. He doesn't appear to be under a great deal of pressure. No, not at all. Threw a nice right hand just a moment ago, too, which uh, caught uh, Jika uh, just sliding down the nose. Jika swinging away at the body, moving in, uh, keeping his eye on Jeffs' uh, uh, left hand as he came in. Just looks like Jika's looking for his shots. He's waiting for the openings. He's uh, he's not rushing. He's not doing anything silly. This is only the first round, and uh, you know, eight rounds can be quite a long time if you uh, if you go out and, uh, and push it too hard too early. Oh, that's right. Well, uh, uh, Jeffs is scoring with a, the punches. Hit the last left, bounced off the forehead. That's six six rounds or eight. Eight. Rounds. Uh, eight, uh, eight rounds, Hank. Eight by three minutes. Yeah, very good, yeah, very good first round. I, I don't think you could really split them. Um, Jeff's sort of made made uh, made good opportunities with uh, against the southpaw and uh, and Giant Jekka just sort of came in fits and spurts. So you really couldn't split them on that basis. Yeah, it, uh, it was an interesting round. I was very impressed with uh, Jeff's composure. Uh, he's done his homework, as I said. Uh, he's uh, finding his mark there. He only, he's throwing punches when he knows he's going to score. He doesn't waste. Much of his punches, exactly, doesn't he? That's exactly right. He's uh, and he's also he's certainly not breathing heavy in the corner. He's just um, sucking a little bit of air, so he, he hasn't uh, hasn't overworked. Not at all. Uh, a, a skilled individual, and uh, I think he's the sort of fellow who knows what he's capable of, knows his limitations, and knows he's up against a really good man. Yeah, he's and, an old uh, head. He's an old head. I think he's been around a bit straight. <laughs> that's what it looks like, and he's had about 40 fights there, uh, uh, Hank. So no doubt he has originally from New Zealand too. So. Uh, He's one of uh, what you'd call the old stages, I suppose, but uh, knows his stuff and he knows his boxing, and um, it's going to be a very hard fight for him, Jika. Well, it's probably a good test. I mean, uh, Jika's had nine fights, nine wins, and he, uh, if he wants to be Australian champion, he has to, to take the next step up, and this is a uh, you know, the perfect opponent. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, he's building up fights, fitness, and... Um, making his way towards the upper echelons of boxing. Lim Chica, nice body punch with the left hand. Oh, Caught Jeff's beautifully in the midriff. That was an excellent body punch. It was right on the solar plexus. Oh, on the button of the solar plexus. Uh, no doubt about that at all. Uh, and, Joe, uh, he looks fit. Uh, Jack, uh, he looks very Yeah, that upper body, the whole body is in fact in marvellous condition and uh, what else, you wouldn't expect anything else from a, a Keith Ellis fighter, would you? Uh, and Ron Jeffs has only thrown one very weak jab since he got hit with that body <laughs> shot. Yes, yes, he's, that, uh, oh, there's no doubt that body shot has done some damage in that solar plexus region, probably caught the breath, the lungs, probably not getting as much air as they were before and uh, who knows, so Joe Fraser used to say, if you work down low, the head will fall. Oh, it's true. There's nothing more painful than uh, than a good body shot. It uh, really cuts right through you. It, uh, you know, the head shots seem to bounce Rattles. off, but the, the oh, body yes. shots, they stick, stick yeah. with you. Rattle the ribcage, Scotty, do they? Yeah, exactly. Punching a lot stronger, Jekka. Yes, oh yes, but he's, he's feeling the pinch a bit now. Uh, Jekka's gone on the attack here, and he's taking the fight right up to Jeff's in this round. Curled a right hand around his neck then, and oh, Jeff's came back with a hard uh, right... Uh, that was a good right, right hand, hand then, a very good right, good right hand from Jeffs. It, uh, it was probably his, uh, his hardest punch for the fight so far. Yes, yeah, that was a, an excellent punch. Hasn't stopped Jika though from uh, maintaining his position here. He's moving forward. And Jika, well, you notice when he's moving forward, he's constantly moving his head. He's not being a standing target. It makes it a far harder job for, uh, for Jeffs to, to be able to pinpoint when he's going to throw it and, 